Sony Computer Entertainment America presents a Universal Interactive Studios production. Developed by Eurocom Entertainment Software. Crash Bash! Hey everyone, I'm Tomorrow 64 here, and today we are on a new playthrough today called Crash Bash. Now, as some of you may have noticed, if you're on my Twitter, you guys did vote for this game over Crash of the Titans, so yeah, this is what we're gonna be doing for the time being. What I will put some disclaimers on right now though. Uh right now I'm really unsure of how I'm going to proceed with this. Because I'm not sure if I want to do 200% on this, and I'm actually not even sure if I uh, want to do this in like a format of just individual levels or entire warp rooms. I want to do warp rooms just so I can get through this as quickly as possible. I will be doing evil edit ending, by the way. I want to try doing this with just warp rooms as early as possible, so you know I can cut like the play session and play time on this a little short because it's not really that long of a game. Like, it, there are some hours you have to put in for this, but it's not like super crazy or anything. But, uh, my main concern with this game is, uh, some of the later warp rooms can really eat up my time, so... I'm just thinking that maybe I'll just do this as individual levels for the time being, and we'll just work on that from there. And I guess my entire recording session is I'll just do, like, each warp room. Which is fair, right? Alright, but anyway, I'm kinda stalling here. Without further ado, let's get started. Uka Uka, how many times must you be told you cannot defeat me? I have heard enough of your shallow wisdom. It is I who is the strongest, and it is evil that will ultimately prevail. This bickering can go on no longer. We must resolve this once and for all time. For once, feeble brother, I agree with you. We shall settle this argument. Prepare to fight! No, Uka Uka. The ancients would not allow it. There can be no malice between us. Hmm. A contest then. Good against evil. Your players against mine. Very well. Summon the teams. <laughs> Crash, our decks, welcome. You and your friends have been summoned here to do battle. A battle between good and evil. A battle to the end. May the best player win. Uka Uka, this is not a fair contest. You have too many players. If your confidence in evil is so great, you can win with equal sides. You must surrender two of your team. Very well. Choose. Let the games begin. All right, so I think I'm just gonna stick with the individual levels format that I had out earlier, but yeah. So I don't really have too much else to say on this other than this is on emulator, so if there are a couple of hack spikes, it's mostly because for some reason the plugins just tend to do that on occasion. I tried, I had this situation happen with CTR when I did that before it, not your field came out. So that's just my only little disclaimer here. <sighs> these these ball games these are the main reasons why i want to stick with just individual levels for the time being so let's just get right on to it i'm also contemplating if i even want to like take out loading screens of all things because they're just so nice. Anyway, here we go. 
So for this, all you gotta do is just reflect the ball onto their side and knock it right in. Unfortunately, their objective is just about the same. Now, you can you can move this with the control stick. I, well, yeah, with like the control stick. But my thing is with it is that there's a bit of, like I'm not sure if this is with me specifically on this or not, but there seems to be like a bit of a delay in doing it with the control stick. So I think I would just recommend doing it with D-pad. I really let Tiny shoot that in there. Oh my god. So, there's pretty much two ways you can go about doing this little game here. One way is just going straight to the ball and letting it deflect off of your little ship. Which you can actually speed up as well using the R1 or L1 buttons. Or, you can actually try doing a small little gravity kick. So if the ball just happens to be a little out of your reach, you can be able to kick it. Not only would you be able to reach it, but you can also give it a little bit of extra speed during those kicks as well. So, sending it out there is a lot easier. My thing about this though, is that if you miss a ball, oh my god. If you miss a ball while you're trying to do this, there's a bit of a cooldown time. And then you won't be able to use it again until it comes back on the, which is indicated on the lights right by the ship too. Oh my god, no! Oh! No! <laughs> this is just the first game and I'm already... Oh. This might have been a horrible mistake. <laughs> yeah, but like stuff like this is one of the main reasons... Oh, oh, we're laughing? Alright. But like, this is one of the main reasons why I'm just stuck contemplating on if I really want to do 200% on this game. Because this game, not necessarily hard it's just that there's sometimes a bit of luck involved with this stuff and by a bit i mean a lot and it's one of the reasons why i see people like make comparisons on this to like say mario party for example which is not an unfair it's just not an unfair comparison because uh both tend to be challenging both in skill and a little bit of luck this game more so luck than skill but uh it's still, you know, it's still, there are still some things you can do to make sure you have it completely under control. Which, as you saw from just the first game, I don't. Uh, but yeah. Oh my god, like, the delay is so huge on the freaking... I'm not sure if it is delay or it's just how uh, the character generally controls, but there's just something about trying to do this with the control stick that just feels so off. Maybe it's just a CTR thing that's become a uh, That's just kind of ingrained on my mind now. But like, even with the D-pad, it feels like a little, it feels a little delayed. It's not awful, but good lord do I feel it. Oh my god, no, no! Come on, get in there, no! Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 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 very clearly gonna have to do this in a uh, in the format where I can only do one level per video because I see that now that it's going to be a bit of a hassle trying to get through these ball mini games. Yeah, no, there's a bit of delay within all my controls. Okay, so this is just a me thing. I I'm pretty sure I'll find something to resolve this issue in the next part, so it don't so it won't be as in the way as it is now, but. There's definitely some delay on the, on this controller, and I absolutely do not want to try playing more of this stuff. More difficult variations of this, no less. On a controller with some delay. Oh my god. Like, it's not the emulator. At least I don't think it is, but... Good freaking lord. Oh my god. No. Uh. <laughs> I really don't I really don't think I made a wise choice doing this playthrough. I really don't. I could be kicking mutants right now with the freaking mojo with the gold mojo mask, but no, here I am deciding to just uh, hit up some walls of freaking an input controller with some input delay. And now I'm suffering for it. Ain't that nice. Okay. Okay. Wait, no, I hit the ball! 
someone get Dingo Dow, please. Thank you. Yes, yes, get him out of here. Oh, we still can. No! Okay, okay. Yes, one more game. Unfortunately, to win trophies, you have to win three games. Not in the row, but just three games. Once you win three games, you get the trophy. And if the CPU wins three games, you have to do it all over again. And uh, doing this all over again... You saw how I was with the first two games as it is. I'm not sure if you want to see me do, struggle through that on a freaking... Oh! Could have sworn I pressed square. What was that? Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to see what's going on with this controller. It could just be a Bluetooth thing, because, uh... I think I still have it on, like, the Bluetooth setting on my phone, and I can't reach it right now, so... I don't know. Like, there's some... Fa there's just a Pretty much the bottom line is there's a couple of factors that could be affecting my controller, and, uh... Whatever it is, I hope I get it fixed in the next part, because I certainly don't want to be stuck doing more of these levels. And then struggle with the harder ones in input delay. It's... Oh my god, don't even get me started on having to worry about the crystals. Because uh, that's something else I forgot to mention with this game. I'm kind of slacking on the information department for this game. So basically, there's three, there's mainly three, like there's five collectibles you can get for every level. But the, for this, like what I'm doing right now, there's mainly three. Which is going to be the trophies, which is simply beating three variations of this game. Uh, then you have... The gems, which are essentially you playing at disadvantage, but you know, you just get through those no problem. If you go through those no problem, you can still get the gems. And then the crystals. The crystals are by far the most interesting part of it because they usually add like a little bit of an extra challenge. Whether it be taking away an ability or adding a feature that could be insta-kill. Yeah, we have those. We have insta-kill options here. And I can gladly explore those right now. As you can see, with the gem challenge, we're just playing through, like, defending the gold like we did with the trophy. There's only one game, and now we're stuck with a disadvantage of having six, six balls freaking in disadvantage. Six. Why that, why buy so much? Oh, and I kind of forgot to also mention, this game does have co-op as well, so... If you want to do an adventure mode with this, most of the team game, like most of these games, will be arranged in teams of two, where it's just you and the, your like you and your friend versus someone else. Uh, I won't talk too much about a specific scenario in the game because uh, I can't have that set up because you know I don't I don't have anyone set up on this, and it's not like this is a it's not like this is a drop in drop out type of game either. So if it was, that'd be pretty sick, but it's not. I'm hoping to get through this on my first try, but if I don't, be ready to hear something that you will be hearing a lot in the later parts of the game. Oh, I don't know how I saved that, but we take those. Yes, get Coco out of here. If we get Coco out first, this would be great. No offense to Coco, but you know, yeah, you, you do have to go. Oh, okay. Yo, beautiful to flack. All right, all right, we're still in this. Oh yes, it's just Dingle Down now. Dingle has two more. All right, yes, first try, baby. Let's go. But yeah, that's pretty much the general gist of how gem challenges work across all mini games. You're at a disadvantage. Uh, now we get to the crystal. This is the most tame of the crystal ones. Just letting you know that now. Yo, relax. You must win without the use of the extra kick. Which means that I cannot use the square button throughout the entirety of this game. But at the very least, I'm not at a disadvantage anymore. So, that little kick I showed I showed off earlier, now I just now I have to reach the ball on my own. Alright, Coco. You, you get the ability to kick. Relax. 
I really instinctively press square. Yeah, I'm not gonna get used to this challenge. <laughs> I said this is the tamest one, and I already by habit try pressing square. This is just an example of what to expect. Just a, a, a tiny example. I don't know how I saved that ball. I don't know how I didn't save that one. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. God, my eyes are just swarming all over the place with these freaking... Oh my god. Okay, okay. Alright, alright. Only threat right now is Dingle Dial and Tiny. Well, mostly Dingle Dial. No! Oh my god. This is... Oh. Ah, I, I hate doing this with input delay because I can't do that kick. Ah! <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, alright. No! No! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> two more, two more. No! No! You Be ready to hear that, by the way. This game has probably the best insult to the player I've ever seen in a video game. Probably the best, at least. This game will not only go out of its way to say you fail, like, not games nowadays would not even dare try attempting something like that. I'm kidding, by the way, but like, like, not only does it go out of your way to say you fail, they went, they also went through the extra mile to put giant letters of fail right on your screen. You have to see that every time you lose on a gem or crystal challenge. I think it also shows up for trophies, but I've never lost on trophies. Like, Trophies are like trophies are gonna be like the easiest variation on you learning how the game works. And trust me, as hard as some of them can be, it's not the worst. I'm 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 pretty sure they also say you fail if you uh don't get the trophy challenge either. Like I don't see why they wouldn't do that if this is the case. Holy crap. What makes this challenge difficult isn't even the fact that I have to uh that I don't have the extra kick. It's the input delay that I have to deal with. Like, the kick was more so a crutch for this, but now that I don't have that, it's like, how do I get through this? But yeah, if I do die again, I'll, I'll just uh, cut to the part where I get like an actual victory on this, because uh, no matter how much, I don't know how exciting it may be to see me fail, I do want to get these uh, parts uh, going. Oh my God. Not even hesitation, just like, I saw it there, but I second-guessed. How did I not save that? Oh my god! Alright. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, sweet sanctuary. I don't have to do this for a while. But yeah, th this is the extent of why input delay is the worst thing you can ever have on a game, even with online life being a common out, like a common issue with multiplayer games nowadays. Like, input delay will always be worse. But with that being said, we're through with that. And that's pretty much the hardest part of this level too, because like, Polar Panic, Pogo Painter, and especially Jungle Bash are fairly easy, are fairly, like a fair bit easier to deal with. So with that being said, that's not towards the world, so I thank you guys for watching. And in the next part, we'll take care of Polar Panic. Just to let you know, I'm not necessarily trying to do all this in order. It's just the first warp room, so you know. I'll try doing this in order for this warp room. Then the next, I'll just do it in my own order, if that's all right with everyone. So until then, see ya. And I'll see what I can do with this freaking input delay. <laughs>